Over the past three years, I've played on a civilization server with the goal of ruling every nation. And across several seasons, I've done some insane things to accomplish this, from creating world peace, to starting world war, to even betraying my own team. And it all started when I got a message from someone I looked up to. You want to join my empire in the nation's event? I want to see if I can recruit together an empire that can go to war with everyone. You see, the reason I even got into civilization events in the first place was because of Clown's videos, where he would dominate every server he joined. So when he asked to team with me, I didn't hesitate to say yes. And this would be the start of a long history between the seasons, but we'll get to that later. Our goal for season 1 was to create a secret war empire to rule all the nations, but in order to understand how this server even works, let me explain. 140 players were randomly put into 4 nations, plains, jungle, desert, and snow. The first few days were dedicated to grand materials, but it didn't take too long before the nation borders dropped and near anarchy broke loose. Anything could happen, and it was up to us, the players, to shape the story. I was put into the Snow Nation with 34 other players. This was perhaps the harshest environment, containing less trees than plains and jungle, and very scarce food. My group made home on the southern coast of the island. The first few days were spent doing your typical Minecraft activities, m mining for diamonds and... Uh, well, mine for diamonds. <laughs> I should mention the nations. Each island gets to elect a leader to govern how the nation is run. The nation leader is given a crown that also gives the wearer 20 hearts. So that's why when elections came around, I knew that I had to try to get elected leader because having 20 hearts would be extremely valuable for the future war plans Clown Pierce was devising. Today, I stand before you with a promise. A promise to keep this nation in good shape and prepare for it. Whatever may come our way. If you vote for me, I will make sure that this uh, nation is going all the way up to the top and that we get so much resources and that we go and be the best one. Literally the best one and then we get so much crops and make sure oh, that it's so good. loud! So much food will be grown and then all the people oh. will not stop and I oh, will make you? sure that the, we win this war! Yeah. After this, we only have me and Raspin left. Alright, hi, hi everybody, I'm Raspin. My knowledge of the game covers like everything from farm, general game knowledge, resourcefulness, PvP, everything you need. Check my homepage if you don't believe me. And speaking of which, I have the YouTube channel which is growing, so it would make much more content if I was leader here. So, yeah, I love content. Yeah. I didn't get leader. There's a clear winner here, Woogie. Congratulations. Yeah. yeah. But having Woogie as a leader was not the worst case. Woogie had good game knowledge and immediately created a council consisting of some of our nation's more experienced players. I was put in charge of our military, which was not a bad position as this would help me stay alive while I grinded up gear for the war empire. I kept my plans a secret from everyone in my nation for a couple of days since I knew it was confidential toward my survival. And so for the next few days, the Snow Nation Council grinded god armor and tools using villagers. We got the spawn eggs from loot barrels around the island, and this allowed us to become the richest players in the entire event. As for the other nations, Plains was experiencing civil war, and so did Jungle not too soon after. Oh, wait, 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 they're- Oh! What? They're being killed! No, that, that's their own members, though. Three of their own- three of their own members died. What just happened? Or, uh... Snow is definitely the best off right now. It seemed like Snow Nation's only competitor was Desert, which was now led by their leader, Clown Pierce. It wasn't too soon before Clown decided to advance in his plan, and traveled to Plains Nation to offer a deal. Work for the Desert Nation as slaves, or die. Their leader decided to work with Clown. And by the fifth day, Clown Pierce was interested in the villager operation I was running. He decided to pay me a visit, coming all the way from Desert Nation to me. Yo, what's up? Hello? Um, here's the deal. So, I don't think my team's here right now except one guy. If I were you, I would just stay up here. I'm currently just trying to get the last book, but emeralds are kind of scarce, so it's tough. Right, right, right. What, do you need anything to get more emeralds? We've just been doing sticks, honestly. That's all we have. We have a small sugarcane farm, but it's not big, so... Okay, yeah, you know, uh, thank you. This, this is great. Okay, um... How oh. many emeralds is prop for? It's 24 total. I have 14 on me. It's 24? Yes. It's... That's so good. Yeah, villagers is, uh, is OP. I'll call you when I get the book. Is that cool? Sure. Yeah. Alright, All right. see ya. As Clown headed back home, I bought the last books I needed and shortly after followed him back to his desert hideout. However, as I was crossing the island, Wookie called the council for a meeting. I didn't need frames anyways. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't oh. even put a crown. Hello. Oh, I got some here. I have some fish. I have some fish. Alright. So, alright. My plan, because jump, uh, the planes and deserts were allied, I was wondering if he want to ally. Hmm. <laughs> You have an enticing offer, my friend. So let's, add, let's add a little bit. Uh, let's add a little bit more into the deal. Let's say, uh, you guys have potions. If I mean, we can always have. You know, we got. We have villagers. You have totems. You know, we can do. We do a little bit of supply here, supply there. If you ask me, I, I scratch your back. You scratch mine. We have an audience watching. 
Yeah, we got, you know, we got some, you, you, don't, you don't mind, we got some of our... <laughs> wait, wait, why is there a planes guy there? there? A wait, plane there is a planes guy, what? Uh -huh. <laughs> what? It's, it's a huge win if you just agree to not, like, kill each other. Yeah. Yes, I think, you know, if we become, like, you know, a bit of a one nation thing as well. I think personally the benefit... Bro! Hey, hey. Bro! Uh, oh, <laughs> wow, this is a sign of treason! Wow. Wow. Do you guys have an alliance? I think an alliance for now. I, I don't think we should merge. So you guys are also opening borders to each other's free passing. Oh, I would say so, yeah. It's been a pleasure, leader of jungle. Same, leader of snow. That's right. As a direct result of planes and desert uniting, jungle had no other choice than to join my nation if they wanted a chance to survive. Hello. What's up? I have some, some questions for you. I don't know why, some people are, are scared of you and are scared that you're gonna do something weird. Uh, do you have weird plans? No, definitely not. I'm just trying to, you know, help the team out. Not, not, you're sure? I would never turn on them, you know? Hey, you're sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm a team player, man. Hmm. <laughs> this is... Oh my god, what? <laughs> I don't know you're hiding say. something from me. <laughs> so, I guess you already know. I'm creating a secret, um... World domination team, you know, a couple of the boys, <coughs> clown. Now, while I was still part of our snow nation, my plans had already gotten to the point of no return, and I was about to leave the island. However, not wanting to go alone, I asked only a squid to join me in the secret plan. I got clown the last book. I am heading to desert for right now. The villager base is really close to here. We ransacked their villager setup, and most importantly, took potion brewing materials. This was crucial, as it was the only thing clown's umpire was missing for world domination. And so, Squid and I left Snow Nation and set off in our adventure. We made our way to the Desert Nation and stopped by Clown's Western Empire hideout. Okay, so I kind Damn, of- you got the you got the whole <coughs> setup, my goodness. I might have ransacked our little things slightly, but I have a brewing stand, I have one scrap, which is useless. Oh, no, that's not useless because I have three of them. Really? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Check this out, I also have- like 15 blaze rods and <gasps> do you guys have sugar you can make sweet pots as well yeah 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 i can give you one of these in return because I, I don't really plan on using them i'll uh i'll give you these if you start turning these into strength pots who exactly knows about all this uh secret stuff i sort of told desert that not to attack you at least there's certainly like a pseudo alliance with you as a person rather than snow as a nation i've gone to planes to discuss like alliance terms basically just assimilating them into the desert and rebranding the desert just don't don't get seen. I think you're on rocky relations now. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Just be, be careful. After brewing some potions, Clown gathered the other members of the Secret War Council, and we all met up at Exile Island. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's all meet up at Exile. I love Raspin Gaming. I do love Raspin Gaming as well. That's uh, that's pretty epic. Raspin does game sometimes. It's pretty guys. Cool. I I today tonight I have tonight. Oh. <laughs> tonight. Today I, tonight. Tonight. I, Wait when? Uh, Wait sorry when? Tonight. <laughs> Boogie X says, hey, are you guys coming to kill us? <laughs> I didn't respond. Say, no. say yes. I might, I might say yes. The point of this ultimatum. So I'm thinking we make them working class slaves. <laughs> but what, happen what happens if they don't? Do we kill them? Yes. Then we declare war. That's the whole point. I, I, want, I want info on what's happening. But right now, the plan is to provide an ultimatum. One that uh, one that the other opposing teams can't really... Won't agree with. You know, like, these are some pretty unreasonable demands. Because the whole purpose of this, we want to... As far as I'm concerned, we're trying to initiate a war. I just ended somebody's playtime on the server. <laughs> they, went, they, they went five sessions. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Walmart Rasplin. <laughs> no, I am not Walmart Rasplin, I am. Oh my god. I am, I am, I am a Wild Pierce! And so, after brewing some last potions, we made our way to my homeland. Take a screen on the, yeah, on the shore here. Come here, come here, come here. The <laughs> host dog is killing me! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, this is awesome. We'd love to see this. Gang. All right, here, I'll sing a, I'll sing a war song. Oh, 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 If you think that's gonna get in with some epic music, it's just gonna be some quirky. Rasplin, Rasplin, you're our guide, actually. Where is the main settlement? Everybody follow Rasplin. Everybody follow Rasplin. Oh, 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 don't hit it, don't hit it. I got flint and steel, let's light him up. I got, I, wait, I got TNT. <laughs> this is the first declaration of war. Someone light that, someone light that. I got you, boo. 
Oh, Run, shit. Uh-oh. I will tolerate no trash talking. This is a casual event. All right. Very nice PC you got here. Thank you. Thank you, Woogie. How are you liking our nation? It's a... Oh, it's it's. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I like planes more. Hello. Oh wait, we'll wait for you guys to arrive at Snow. Nah, uh, I'm. You can start. I'm. I'm. Good. No, no, it was. No, no, no. We we will win. Right. <laughs> That's so much work, though. Oh dear seven. God. Hello. Get jungle back. Oh, wrestling, you okay. asshole. <laughs> Look at the chat. I'm gonna kill you. I know. Come gentle, here. gentle. Oh, that's true. I that's cannot true. help but notice that you guys have formed an alliance in direct response to the Western Empire's formation. I don't know if you considered this, but this does sound as a direct threat to our domination of the Five Islands. Who I, I like thought? It. Yeah, who, who would have thought? <laughs> so, I am here to give you guys a proposal. Either submit and become worker slaves to the Western Empire, or die. I don't like either of those. You know what I mean, honest. <laughs> yeah. like, you know, dying isn't. I'm not a big fan of that. Like, mm -hmm. but also, you know, being slaves. You know what I mean? <laughs> this doesn't seem it. Doesn't seem any fun. Yes, because it's, it's fine. Also, it's fine. As you, if you as decline our offer of becoming, you know, nationwide slaves, you will simply be declared war and. uh we will discuss a time and place for your execution. Yeah, I don't want to like. Mm -hmm. How about you guys give up your crowns? It's curse of blinding and vanishing. So that's not really a real I argument. I don't have much to say because we have you know. Free yeah, grass. I I think I think it'd be best if you uh, so kept the rest of your wars to yourselves. Anyway, I think. Get out of here. I think the what? I think the outcome of these He's negotiations so has been you know pretty clear. So. Uh, yes. We'll see you guys in around 30 minutes we'll on Exile Island. Later. And if you're not on Exile Island, we'll be here. Wait, in like 30 minutes? Because I gotta go like now. Like, do my can we do this like tomorrow? <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, okay, we can probably <laughs> okay, do it yeah. tomorrow. Okay, yeah. Fine. yeah. <laughs> we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow. It's happening. Like, how many people are you? Gonna what? Yeah, are you crazy? We just declared warning. We're not gonna give you any info. I mean, what are you crazy? <laughs> just leave well, that. Yeah, yeah. Just we're, we're done. We're done talking. What? We just declared war. We, what, we what never even know what to talk. Oh, what army? Why army do you have? Oh, oh, oh. oh we, just, we declared war. Right? It's war time. Right, we're enemies now. I'm frowning. You can't see it, but I'm frowning in real life right now. All right. Yeah, you <laughs> freaking grizzles. Why did you take the beacon though? It doesn't even give it, like anything. <laughs> it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> it was settled. The Empire and the Snow Jungle Union would be going to war. After seeing Squid and I united with Clown, Woogie officially exiled us and we lost access to the Snow Team chats. We gave the Union a day to prepare for war, and before anyone knew it, War Day commenced. Alright, well, as some may know, Jungle and Snow have actually not decided to submit to the Western Empire, and therefore, the Western Empire is going to war with the Jungle Snow Alliance.
it was over. After a week building up to today, we killed the jungle and snow leaders and our empire now ruled season 1 of nations. However, season 2 was completely different. And that's because hey, yo I'm about to use an end crystal to kill my entire team on this Minecraft server. But why did I do it you may ask? In order to understand, I need to bring us back to the beginning of the server. I was put into the Waste Nation, which was the most dangerous island due to the shortage of any food or wood. My initial plans for this event were to create a war empire and take over every nation under my rule. Basically, pull a clown pierce from season 1. The first step in claiming any power nation is to be recognized as a leader, and each nation actually held an election to elect one. So I headed to our capital to give my election speech. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of running for third anyways. This guy's gonna win, I feel like we know that. Uh, I guess my plan for government is really just to be a representative, you know? People have said that we have the worst island, or we have the worst perks, but I feel like we take that for granted. Uniting all of the nations is truly a goal that is very hard to achieve. Anyone could do a simple action of aggression and everything will go into shambles. Yeah, it's I much more impressive because like, war is like, it's such an overused thing. Look, I've been studying the past a week for all the war strategies to help us win this war. All right, you, I know what you're thinking. If you saw my last video, you know, I kind of turned on my nation. But and the more for other ones. listen, this time is different. You know why? Conference isn't here, so I don't have to vow to anyone if I'm going to survive. So that's why I'm going to take over this with you guys. So I need your help, and I need you to elect me so that I have 10 extra hearts to win this thing. <laughs> In times of war, people will often unite to whatever they can, and unfortunately for me, the people of Waste Nation did not share the same plans for war that I did. Instead, they wanted world peace and elected Bricks as their leader. Now that my intentions were out, I had blood on my hands because everyone knew that it wouldn't be long before I left the nation and betrayed them all. I had to isolate and trust nobody. Rasplin, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Rasplin, no, no, it's fine. For one time, I'm not scared of you. Okay. It's because I'm not in survival. <laughs> you see this team? They, they're a bit crazy. They all want like, oh, I want to be here. Yeah, okay. I want you to take over this place. While my own nation may not support me, I had friends from other islands that would. And so I waited for the borders to drop. But this wasn't easy because I was attacked on sight. I managed to stay safe for a while, but it wasn't soon before... I was spotted. Well, we don't really want to kill Rasplin. Now, since our own nation has turned against us, he also wants to kill you, which is a problem. Now, we don't want to let that happen. So, Rasplin, you got to make us a deal. You, we don't want to do this, man. And I don't think you want to do it either. Right now, what we're talking about can literally shape the rest of nations right now. Right when I thought I was out of options, a friend of mine, Gonkas, came to my rescue. Despite facing the most powerful players in our nation, he risked his life to find me. He coordinated an escape and acted fast in order to make it out alive. Hey, guys, where are we going? Why are we going away in a boat? Who is this? I see Rasplin. somebody going... Why are you guys running? Don't make us do this, please. Oh, Rasplin's running? Go, 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 go. All right. Ruby. Trying to run. Oh, oh, never mind. He's trying to run. Never mind. They are. What? Okay. Because he's killing me. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, no, I, um, I told Ruby to stop. Jesus. What's the course, this is so bro? What's confusing. The what's happening? What the hell just happened? This is this a confusing, like, fight? The hell? Are we fighting or not? I was saved, and now that nation borders are dropping, I would be able to meet with my secret team. And so, I traveled the seas. Freely traveling around other nations would still be dangerous, so I went where nobody else was. As I made my travels, an overwhelming sense of dread overcame me. All the time I spent alone, with no one to turn to. Did I make a mistake in betraying my own team? Was war truly the right answer? Like a thorn in my heel, these thoughts haunted me as I made my way across the world. Eventually, though, I made it to Desert Island, where my team was waiting for me. Dude, please, I can use that while mining. Dude, Desert no. Island. I finally had people I could rely on. No more running and constantly fearing for my life. JJK, the host of the event, officially exiled us, and Team Exile now made its mark on the server. So you, you officially wanted every on every single island. I don't know on exile, but on every single island you wanted. Our team wasn't looking too bad. We had decent gear and a good number of people. However, on the other side of the world, an international peace union was being shaped, and it was being led by Waste's leader, Bricks. He called it the Great Nation. He was really going through with his plans for world peace, and this was my group's main competitor in taking over all the nations. Dolly decided to relocate our team to jungle since our location was now public, and so we made our way to jungle. Dude, like I'm running to the jungle base right now, bro. When I got there, I found a chest with an end crystal in it and decided to keep this a secret from my team. At this point, my team was now known as International Criminals. We had to start an attack soon because the enemy groups would become too powerful before too long. Dolly decided Snow Nation would be our first target since they seemed the weakest, and inside gave us the location of the Snow Nation capital and we marched up the mountain to initiate the first attack of nations. Oh, right there, up there. Do you see someone? <gasps> up, oh. up on the hill, I see the base. Already oh shit, there's here. like, there's like a lot. They're already looking at us, just go, just go. Oh, yeah, let's just go. Uh, yeah. Well, if they kill you, then go for it, but you know. I'm staying back because my armor sucks. He just pearled. Oh, wait, no, he pearled. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I shot him. 
Oh, nice go, nice. kill them. Okay, wait, wait I need to stop. Yeah, take the loot, take the loot. I spit on their graves, I don't care. <laughs> Our attack was a success. We took out most of the snow population. Just as we finished, a feared fighter messaged me that she was interested in joining our team. Mitherdeck showed up and gave our team info on the plane's capital, since she had just been exiled from her own island, an outcast from society. Finally, someone I could relate to, but at this point I thought I was the only one in my position. JJ gave us permission to kill planes, so we have a good go. Okay, well, you guys, you guys want to go? Uh, we're, we're gonna we're... kill planes. With the location of planes, we made our way across the ocean yet again. <gasps> my home! Oh, I hate this place. Blood all along, Raspin. We brought you back to kill you, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, that's my that's my house! I built that thing when I was getting trapped. Uh, I'm behind with only a squid, all so... Is. And when we got to planes, we decided to take a different approach than we did at Snow. Uh, Raspin is in a tree somewhere. There he is. He's up there! Bro, he's monkey, bro. <laughs> alright, alright. Alright, let's Order. keep on a search out. Let's look for the planes. Yeah. Oh, the wait, I see the walls up there. <gasps> oh! Yo, I, I'm bossing quick, 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 quick. Since the server was now preparing for us, we had to take a more stealthy route. I was sent in using an invis potion to investigate and pick out the perfect time and position to attack. There was one problem, however. You see, one of the perks of being in exile is that I glow every few seconds, even when I'm invisible, so I could easily be spotted if I didn't time it right. However, knowing this risk, I took off my armor and went in. Ras, Dolly said not to kill anyone, but if you really want to do this, then I said then. It's my last day. Wait, I see him! I can see him! No! Wait, 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 for the, wait for the, uh, back to wear. Yeah, wait for the glowing to go. I see two people there, wait, those are two people you can- Yeah, uh, I think those are pretty easy to kill. Wait, Ras, when are you, when are you doing it? <laughs> I'm actually, I'm actually so glowing, 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 yeah. Yes. Let's go. Well, we know what to do. We have to be yeah, aware. Yeah, I spawned him. Okay, we kill. Oh, oh they man. see us. They see us. They see us. They see go, go, us. Go, 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 go. Oh! Shoot him. Yeah. Hit them once. Hit them once. <laughs> Watch out, man. I'm just rushing. I'm just rushing. You guys rush, rush, rush. Let's rush. Yeah, rush in, rush in. Oh, I fell. Uh-oh. <laughs> go, go, go. Barrett, why are you going alone? I'm going to find a plan. Oh, um... I'm fighting no, no, someone alone. Kill the table? Oh, what? What? Right, go down there, go down there. Everyone go down. Okay. Oh, wait, that's squid. They have pots, they have pots. Neither have pots. Wait, wait, what? Okay. Yo, so many people here. Yo, 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 I'm getting attacked by five people. Together, oh, together. Together. Oh, oh, guys, I have. Yeah, the oh, game's game. Okay, where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Where are you guys? Wait, dude, this guy has a rare cape. What? He's not no, Frankie, Frankie's on me, Frankie's on me. Oh, 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 oh. You run, run, run. Let me run, let me run. Let me run. He ran away, he ran away. He ran away, he ran away. Frank is right here, guys. He's right here. Where is he? Get him. Oh, he's here. Go into the center. He's burning, he's burning, he's burning, he's burning. He's mining, he's mining away. Wait, what? Guys, we're fighting two kings. Hey, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Get him, get him. Oh, nice. Well, there yes, we go. Yes. Yes. Okay. Planes was demolished. My team wreaked havoc on them. All of the people, even the innocent ones who just wanted to live in peace, gone. Was Briggs right? Am I really wrong for wanting war? I couldn't let these thoughts bother me, so I kept moving without saying anything. Exile's Relent was far from over, and we embarked on Desert Next. But when we got there, something unexpected happened. The desert people were peaceful. Teamwork and neutrality in the state of war. It was the first time I felt accepted by a nation, like I wasn't a menace to society. I began to feel lots of guilt for my actions on snow and plains. Was I really the bad guy this whole time? My mind had reached a breaking point, and I knew this wasn't who I was. I wasn't a monster. I wasn't the villain in this story, not this time. So I decided to end it all, to end the team from which my way started. I decided to consult with Mithridek since she was the only other one who truly understood me. And to my surprise, she told me to use the item that I've been holding on to the whole time. The one thing I needed to end this terror and bring peace to the nations. I knew what I had to do, but I didn't know if I had the strength to do it. But Mithridek believed in me, and without much time left to think, I asked my team to come to Exile Island for one last screenshot before I logged off for the rest of the event. And this is what happened. Wait, 
Are you guys coming to take a screenshot or like what's happening? Yeah, what's okay, what are you recording? Cord, cord, cord. Oh, we're um, just at the exile thing, I know. Let's like have Rasp in the front because he's this is his final. Go on, Rasp. All okay. right, all right, sure. Okay, you guys ready? Push me down. Yeah. Do we even funny? Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't have any gold, no. dude. I do. No, this is enough blocks, I think. Just no. shift on the gold blocks. The gold blocks. We're yeah. fine. It's fine. Hey, what? Yo. What? Okay. What? <laughs> oh my god. Why? Ruffling. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. the second he was standing there. I knew he was gonna be standing. Peace. I was now finally at peace. As it turns out, war and hate was not what I wanted. One might say I'm the only true villain in this story for betraying everyone I knew in the end, but my decision to eliminate the exiles ultimately allowed for true world peace between all the nations. You see, after I took out my team, every other nation united on Exile Island because there was no more threats in the world. I lost all my friends, but if the cost of having friends is the suffering of innocent people, then I'm confident in saying I wouldn't have ended Nation Season 2 off any other way. However, I can't say the same about Season 3, because in the end, it was my team's own greed that led to our downfall. How you might be wondering? Well, I need to take us back to the start of Season 3, where I spawned into the desert island. And when I first logged on, I was quickly geared up by my fellow nation members. Nothing has happened yet, really, Rasplin. No, Rasplin, what are oh. you doing? You NPC! Oh, oh wait, I forgot oh, I uh, KB, I'm sorry. <laughs> the desert island was harsh, and I got to work on expanding our farm since that was the only source of food we had. The other two islands, Plains and Snow, were filled with resources, and if we wanted to stand a chance for war, then we'd need to prepare as much as possible. And as I was farming, our nation held a leader election. Whoever won would get a crown granting 10 extra hearts, and although we had several good candidates, it was none other than Clown Pierce who won. In past seasons, I both teamed up with him and fought him, but I know one thing is for certain, he will definitely make use of the extra health from the crown. And it's a good thing elections just finished because we found something suspicious around our base. What is that? <laughs> what is happening? Okay, yes, I know, you can set your traps up, all right? We are a total friend. Okay, well, calm down. Hold we I gotta snow. say, these are very fair allegations. We are from the Snow Nation. We are hoping to be allies. Snow Nation spies. We didn't know what these players wanted from us, so in order to get information, we held them hostage until they talked. Let's be civil, all right? Uh, the name's Chief, how are you doing? Maybe seen a video of mine, maybe not. Some of you may be subscribed. You yeah, probably aren't. Well, hello there, Chief. Wait, there oh there my God, Cloud, hi! No, I, I want the real reason why you're here. You should start talking fast. Yeah, yeah, there's someone else in this over Paul. There should yeah. be four of us. He's you over brought here. four brought an army. We're gonna kill them. Uh, no. preferably not. They are my friends still. The um, they want to become friends with you guys. You're pretty oh, really? So, the nation wants to become friends with us. That's what they said at the speech. No, we, of course we want to be friends. Although their answers seemed harmless, we had a feeling there was something else they were up to by bringing four people to spy on us. So, we had no other choice than to eliminate them. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, what no, 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 Please don't do this. Please, 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 please. please. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Uh, I'm chilling. We're I'll chilling. give you We're a few chilling. seconds to, to, you know. So I'm dead. So now I can't do anything. Don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. I don't have a torch. Please, don't do what? Don't please, do please, what? Don't please, do what? guys, don't it's let me die here. Please, I beg. Please, please, please don't let me die here. Please don't let me die here. Did I mention? Once you die you can't come back. The first blood of nations did not sit well with the Snow Nation, and we got word that their team wanted revenge. But for now, we were just glad that we had no more intruders. And it was around this time that we also had our first interaction with the Plains Nation, and luckily, it was a more peaceful start, because their leader, Minute Tech, proposed a trade for allyship in exchange for mushrooms, which we needed because we could use them to make mushroom stew, a great food source for battle. Can you, can you agree to give us red mushrooms for us housing him? If he isn't lying, we're in a good position. Okay, Clown, how many people are we gonna take on this mission? Probably for a rest. Wait, what? That's probably it. So Clown decided to take the deal, and now Desert and Plains were officially allied. There'll be a big brawl, bro. Tomorrow, snow is gonna fall. Alright, everybody, start gearing. 
While most of the plans members stayed on their own island, Minitech decided to travel with us in case we needed extra fighting power. This would benefit both of us since Snow Nation had the most members and we'd have the best chance of defeating them by combining our teams. And with this newfound power, our team decided to travel to the Plains Island for more resources. However, as we were crossing the ocean, we found none other than Snow's team leader. Only a squid. Squid in us, get squid! Um, on squid, on squid, on 600 minus 80. Espen's on him right now. Oh, it raps the squid. Gold Fair, fair, let's go on Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boost each other, boost each other. Yeah, get in front of him and back him back. Oh, it's him, it's him. I think the rest of them are coming here. Oh, it's the Yuga. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's kind of running out of places to swim, honestly. Like, we just run down. He has a free diamond sword if we don't. Wait, the dolphin. No, they're all running, they're all running, they're all running. Oh my god! He's squid! You really don't! Bro, okay, so. Fuck Murphin, come here. Oh, he's got a dolphin, he's got a dolphin. Oh my god, he's got a dolphin. Rock Maxwell, switch to Axe. Oh, he died, he died, he died. Oh my gosh! I mean, is there any reason why this isn't just wraps for snow now? We eliminated the Snow Nation leader. This was huge, and we were one kill closer to beating their team. But with this victory, we also felt Snow Nation's vengeance growing stronger. So we traveled back to our island to keep preparing for the inevitable war. However, as we were heading back, we spotted two Plains members traveling somewhere. Yeah, yo, act like we're a oh. team. Act like we're teaming, minute. Actually, I want to. I want to talk to them. Hold on. Wait, why are we not? Why don't I kill? Are these guys the ones that are? I don't, I don't have enough on them yet for betrayal, and we can't. And like. Are you sure? Because these guys are just running away from you. They're clearly yeah. not working with us. It was suspicious that Minute's own nation members were running away from us, so we decided to call them to figure out why. And after 10 minutes went by, they wouldn't tell us anything, so to increase the stakes, we threatened to kill them if they didn't tell the truth. And finally, it was then that we discovered something that would change everything. Whether or not this was the truth, it didn't really matter. The idea of betrayal was always possible. After all, Desert does have some of the strongest fighters out of all of the nations, so it wasn't out of the picture that planes would turn on us soon. However, we still had snow to worry about first, so we kept our thoughts hidden for now. In order to keep tension low, we decided to let these players go. But right after doing so, Snow announced that they were at our capital, about to burn everything down. Rest one, they've destroyed your farm, bro. It's over. No! The desert base is gone. We were officially at war. And while the destruction of our base may seem bad, we already took our valuables and put them in our inventories, so we had no reason to go back. And in fact, Clown had a genius strategy in mind. If we went to Snow Island right now, we could ambush them while they're least expecting it. So, we traveled into enemy territory, and eventually... Wait, 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 on us, on us, uh, minus 450, 550, minus 450, minus 450. Don't die for damage. Yes, everybody follow him. Go for it. Let's get him. Let's get him. Hey, Frey, guess what? Guess what? Boost the again, 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 again. Yes. Show me the archer, bro. Show me the archer. Again, 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 again. Come on. I'm right on Murphy. Oh, nice, nice, nice. To the right, to the right. Keep running, bro. Keep running for it. Come on, let's keep this up. There's only a couple more. There's only a couple more. They're going on the ice. Oh my god. The rest of them got away. But at this point, Snow Nation barely had any members left, and Clown felt like they were now weak enough to take on our own. So it was time to look at the bigger threat. Planes. Maybe we should just go with them to kill Snow. Go with them as long as it uh, as as they go. If we do eradicate Snow with them, then we have nothing to worry about anymore. And that's an easy option. Oh wait, option. so are we dropping? Are we dropping the plane no. people as well? Clown. No. But if Ray, listen. Clown. Though they were our allies through everything, our nation's desire for power had grown so strong, we were ready to take them out so that Desert could be the last nation alive. But in order for our plan to work, we knew we'd have to keep Minitech alive, since if we tried to take him out first, the Plains members would be able to help him fight back. I know, like, I'm it's afraid, I know, I know they could betray, I just don't think they have that set up right now. Uh, just keep in mind, we are very vulnerable here. If they do turn on us, we need to like get out of there. Yeah, let's go push that with Minit. No one's betraying yet, but we have suspicions, but it's like, nothing's too concrete. <laughs> This was perfect. Minitech knew betrayal was an option, but he didn't suspect it from us, but instead his own nation members. So we continued on with our plan and seeked out the rest of Snow Nation. I see them, I see them, I see them. Oh, here we Where? go, here we go. 1500 one can? Yeah. Yeah. I got a knockback. I can knock back you into the middle. Yeah, this is not taking that long. You guys are, you guys are, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying so hard not to back up the damage right now. Oh my god. I'm pretty good, Latrix. 
I was trying so hard not to die. Hard to damage. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, I'm at half health. I'm half health. Oh, that's not water. Wait, I hear. Guys, I'm watching rain. Great. Yes, we got him. Okay, okay. Nice. Snow was basically out of the fight at this point, and Cloud messaged our team it was time to turn on planes. So we waited for the perfect moment. I Very well. Why? I gotta you knew it was coming, bro. Because <laughs> it can only be one winner minute. No, there doesn't. No, there doesn't. Yep. Okay. 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 Nice. Like, two winners, Where are you? Like, there's only one dog. You're literally just like Squid. There's You're no just room. Like squid. There's no room. No, oh, unlike Squid Minute, I'm gonna win. <laughs> What's water? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember that. It's not looking good. No, no. Yeah. 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 Don't you're attacking then. Oh no, you gotta attack me. Oh my god, I can't like it. Wait, one okay, six, we, one, drop one. Arch, right. we drop arch as well. Three ports again. One, one, one six, one one. We're going, going east. 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 Okay. Now one seven, one one. Like, I need something interesting for the video. Can I, can I kill the quick drop? Or are we, am I Understand it. No. Well, now they're gonna be the winners. Podium. I have new new ports for you. One seven one one. Clown's old and he has like old, you know. One one. It's a shame. You should have been desert. You just should have been desert. But what help are you gonna be? I'm gonna be so real. Something something and hit me. I'm boosting you, bro. Oh, okay. I thought you were critting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seven one v ones. Yeah. Bro, get the coords in chat. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry, but no. Bro, uh, minute. How's your armor durability looking? Oh, I got, I got two sets on me. Don't worry about me. <laughs> what? Uh, minute Tech was not going down, and the worst part is he was single-handedly draining all of our resources. We realized that fighting him was pointless, and it turned out this is exactly what he wanted. But they're coming. Whatever. Everyone is here. Everyone is here. Oh, 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 Minute was just stalling for the remaining planes and snow members to save him. And although on their own they didn't have many people, combined they had just enough to fight us. And now we had to fight off both teams. I, I really need to make an axe. Oh, oh yeah, 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 there's a bunch of them, there's a bunch of them. Are y'all in green? Oh, I died. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Guys, are y'all in green? We are in 1700. I got jumped by two of them. One, in, okay. Okay. Are Snow and Plane's team? Yeah. 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 yeah, apparently we were never linked in. Oh my god, they oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we were towards being off the right track. But like, so, how are we actually somewhat losing this? Like, because they're going out like them. But they're two. People within the target means pretty hard. GG, guys. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Come on, tell me, Corey. How am I gonna die from drowning when I actually. Yo! Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay, like, Wait for it. What? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he dies! No, it's a throw! We were never late. No, we were never late. Oh, just actually scared me, I'm alive. Yeah? Oh, chicken. Please, please. Please, please. No, but I can't. Please, please. 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 Please, I, I haven't, I haven't sorted that. Where is your team? Are we all dead? Wait, we're all dead? What? Yeah, we're all dead. I mean, like, we, I died, we, I died. No way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So if we stay in sight, we're just gonna slowly all die. Can we, can we all leave? Can we all leave? Yeah, all leave. That's, that's literally all your way. Oh, can leave. we all just go south? All just south of We need to retreat. Okay, who's still in? Who's still in? Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone's dead. That's the, like, the only dude. guy there. Um, I'm still in this fight. Yeah, I didn't Okay, find a way to get out. Find a way to get out. Pulse off, pulse off, pulse off. Everyone's off. Oh god. Oh god. The, the, the two good ones are on me. Yeah, we went from having a brand and having five people. Yeah, we, we took too long to turn there. What? We're chasing people. No. Oh, no, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Just, just... No! No! no. Oh, that's the diamond card gone to. GG's wrestling. We had every chance to keep our allyship and stay powerful, but it was power that was the one thing that blinded us into destroying everything we had built. 
If we had just kept pursuing Snow with our Plains allies, we could have ended nations on top. See, the funny thing about power is that once it corrupts your mind, it becomes easy to go too far and lose everything. So maybe we weren't the last nation alive, but we definitely formed a deadly empire that will be remembered for this season of nations. But speaking of deadly empires, in the next season of Nations, my team had some of the strongest fighters we've had yet. And so, this is the story of season 4. But this season was different because every team was put onto a super flat square, and we were separated by a giant wall. See, each team has a core they have to protect, and if their core gets broken, everyone on the team instantly dies. Seems simple enough, right? Well in 5 days from now, the walls will be dropped, and the civilizations will fight to destroy each other's core first until one team remains. Day 1 was the hardest session, because we had no resources yet. However, the owner soon gave every team a couple of things to progress. One sapling, a water bucket, and some iron. And so not knowing what else to do, we waited for the sapling to grow. And after a couple of minutes... Uh, I'm trying to handle the <gasps> tree, tree. sky wall. Yeah. Now one tree may not seem like that big of a deal, but this tree would allow us to mine our iron, and with that iron we can make shears to get leaves to use on a common composter creating bone meal, and if you didn't know, using bone meal underwater creates water source blocks. So basically, we had an infinite water pool now. Yeah. There we go, okay, man. Infinite water. We go. Nice. My small group was slowly progressing our nation, but the rest of the players on our team weren't exactly as focused. Get out of my house! This is literally breaking and entering! Oh, where is it going? <laughs> yeah, look, we have the people in the sky place. I don't know how they're gonna get down. Guys, I think I might be able to break the core. Oh, that's no, no, don't, don't break. No, if you break the core, we all die. With a team full of prominent PvPers, trust wasn't exactly the easiest thing to accomplish, and the owner even told us how behind we were. I'll give you this, you guys are doing the worst. If we wanted to survive this experiment, we would have to work together. And by day two, that already started to happen. Oh. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, we got our daily resource drop and tried to contain everything in shared chests, but there were still a few players who decided to take more for themselves than they needed, including a player named Devoma. And when we called him out for it, he started hacking, so we collectively decided to hunt him down. Oh, what the hell? What is happening? Listen to me, I'm about to deal with him. Arrow coming, arrow coming. No way! Don't get no way! I did it! Yo! I did it! Finally working together on something, my team's trust for each other started to grow, and we spent most of the day fishing since this was our main way of getting levels and more items. Wow, Why are we Ray. creating more, Sammy? What is? <laughs> well, because it's a square. It's ugly. It's strange. Does anybody have any? No! Oh, oh, you oh my just god! Me. I'm dying. Oh, I can't push you. The first worry. time I played Minecraft when Ooh. I was like 12, I genuinely had no idea how to swim. I I kept like spamming space. While my team was happy with our progress today, there was one more important thing to do leader elections. See, every season, each team elects someone to guide their nation to victory, and this time, there were three main candidates running. So, we all sat down and listened to their speeches. Ladies, gentlemen, so my proposal is we listen to a former king who said all excuse me, who said all warfare is based on I'm just gonna have to actively like dodge. Whether I get your votes or not, I want to say that if we are gonna have any chance to win, we have to work together. Personally, I will organize building the base, and I will implement about three good players who will help lead the charge when the walls drop. We are a team of content creators. No matter what, we will be the targets. That's our disadvantage. But we also have an advantage. We have the most talented strike team on the server right here. So we could sit back and let the swarms of people overrun us or we could go on the offensive and take him out before they even reach us i'm fine with working with both of these talented people to run a government here but what they said is true we need to unite if we want to actually make a difference here because we're already against the world and the world is against us thanks each candidate made a good effort, but after casting our votes, it was none other than Clown Pierce who won. And I don't think anyone was really surprised by this. Clown, you've been in five nations event, and every single one of them, somehow you managed to be leader. You are the only player in the history of nations who've been leader five times. Really? Oh, well, I think so. don't mind if I do. Oh yeah, that, that, fit, that suits, that suits me, yeah. And with that, day two had ended. And when the next day started, we expected things to go like normal, but then the owner called everyone for an announcement. This game is a PvP battle through death between four players. Each team, I want you to choose one player. You guys are allowed to equip this player with whatever you want, and if they die, they're not getting revived. Make your choices, decide 
who you're gonna send, the winner will be getting resources for his team. Immediately, we thought our best PvP -er, Fair MC, was the obvious choice since he's literally one of the best players in the world. However, after thinking about it some more, we realized Fair was also too great of a player to risk losing, since we need his help later when the borders drop. So instead, we chose a player named Eroku, since he's also very skilled at PvP, but also less recognized than Fair, so he was less likely to be targeted in the event. So we told the owner our choice, and he was teleported into the arena. And this is what happened. Okay, and he's, al he's, he's aligned oh, with yeah, red too. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Next step. Okay, blocks. Nice. Oh. Green's gone. Nice. He won. Okay. We dropped the goal now. Oh, he uh, fucking backs up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he won. So, okay, okay. He won. He wins. He won. He won. Yeah. The red guy doesn't oh, know what he's doing. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh. Erekun winning this event created a huge advantage for our team, granting us tons of iron, diamonds, and an enchanting table. Yo. Hey, yo. Oh, oh. So we started to enchant our gear and grew closer as a team with every little action. But after this, my team began focusing on defenses, since the board was going to drop in just two days and our core was still out in the open. So Clown assigned people to a few jobs, including lava casting, trench digging, and core covering. And I started by digging our trench with a player named Pierce. But when I watched him mine, he was doing this weird moss strategy, because because apparently if you bone me a moss block, it'll infect nearby stone, which you can break with the hoe, increasing the speed of our trench digging. So for the rest of the day, that's exactly what I did. After making good progress, I was about to come back to the surface, but was surprised with something else. Rasplin! What? Rasplin, look out! They're building a cannon! Where? What? They built a cannon! Should I- wait, what? Uh, wait, what? I Where almost the found the death. cannon. They tried to murder Raslin. Anyways. What? Okay, so they didn't actually try to kill me, but it was funny. Speaking of which, Clown kinda died from a glitch. Oh, oh, oh what? 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 The clown! The border, the border teleported me out. Luckily, the admins were able to help him out and revive him. But speaking of help, I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers before VidCon, which is in like a few weeks. Otherwise, my friends can tweet anything they want on my Twitter. And honestly, we're still a bit of a ways away, so if you want to save me from whatever they're gonna tweet, uh, subscribe. It's day four and the walls drop tomorrow. Our nation is very different now than when we started, and we've definitely come a great way together as a team. However, some of our members started to worry since we had less people getting on to play than any other team. So far, only 16 people have showed up today. Other teams <laughs> have like up to 50 members. But instead of worrying too much about it, we still had a couple important tasks to do. Uh, I need a build squad to help us uh, build the defenses. Sure. Me and Rasplin need two more people to work on the other trench because mm. right now we only have one. So while the rest of my team finished up our walls and trenches, I decided to cover our core and I surrounded it with a bunch of obsidian as well as made a fall trap underneath. Oh wow, that's thick, okay. Besides working on defenses, today we also got our final resource drop, which was by far the biggest, containing full diamond armor sets for every player on our team. So we finished up enchanting and finished our defenses and now all we had to do was wait till tomorrow. So with nothing else to complete, I logged out until from starting off as a nation divided by mistrust to one that can split up and accomplish different tasks my team has come a long way leading up to today but despite this we still had the least amount of players out of any team which was a huge disadvantage we literally have no one no one right <laughs> we need to play smart and pick off enemies bit by bit since winning by brute force wouldn't be possible but now it's time to find out if everything we've done was enough and so we all waited in anticipation for the walls to drop Thanks, guys. <gasps> Yo! Yo! Oh, wait! Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. oh, Our trenches were nothing compared to theirs. Blue's team maxed out their defense, digging a trench all the way around their nation that made ours look tiny, and they had a giant water cube which stops anyone from breaking their core with ease. As for the other teams, Red had a giant lava wall surrounding their base, and we couldn't see green since our wall was blocking it. So our first plan was to pick off blue players at the border walls, while a couple of us stayed around our core to protect it. Oh, I hit him! He's down! Is he gonna die? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can, we can get the team. Okay, so. Yeah. Uh, have any wait, 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 oh my gosh, Sharpness is like Sharpest invading is their base. Wait, 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 take, take that. Oh, watch out, Tinty Canopies. Yeah, they watch out, they are not the best owners. Run, run. Edge football. Oh, oh shit! I got shot! Oh, 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 shot into our own walls. Guys, we need to water it. We need to okay. water it. So if we can shut up, yeah. we don't die because he's actually dead late. Oh, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't jump! Don't jump! Don't jump. Oh, watch out! The lava's coming down on us. I feel like if I go down, watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Yeah, but if you start breaking it before they jump down. 
Oh, you need to go and watch out. Clown, clown. Oh my god. 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 While we were able to get a few kills from this strategy, we unfortunately lost a couple teammates as well. So we decided to take a different approach and took to the skies. However, we weren't the only ones with this idea, and every other team also had their own sky bridges too. So we tried knocking them off. There's more. Careful, don't get shot up. You can get shot up by blue right now. Green is going to push us. Good shot, Oh my god, arrow. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, Arch. Oh, no, Arch. No, Arch. No, Arch. Get out, get out, get out. There is so many of them. Yeah, yeah, uh, get out. I have CNC on me. I can blow up the bridge. No, oh, wait, no, we seriously took them out. Wait, there, no, no, wait, there's so many. No, wait, wait, help. Wait, 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 they rebuilt the bridge. They rebuilt it. Someone break. just fell in the water. Oh my god, no way. Wait, Emma, Emma, Emma. Turn off TNT. I see it, I see it, I see it. The sky strategy got us another few kills on the other teams, but it also presented a big problem. Our ground defense was left more vulnerable. So before we got too far into enemy territory, we made it back down to think of a new plan. See, the problem with all of our strategies so far is that we're out in the open where every team can easily target us. But Pierce and I realized something. By crawling through our trench, we could tunnel into enemy territory without even being seen. And if done correctly, we could theoretically sneak into a team's core room. So while the rest of our team was busy distracting Blue, Pierce and I went on a mission to eliminate Green's core. Look out, look out, look out. Oh my god. Oh no. We're going into Green base. <laughs> The rest of our team is all in the sky. Oh my god, we're like oh my god, in the no, inventory. Oh my god. What do we do now? Ray, where are you? Where are you? Just right. try. I, I'm with. I'm with. I'm down. I'm down. What's up? <laughs> Rasplin and I need TNT so we can uh, just kill a lot of people. We're inside the core right now. Snake checks. Snake checks. Careful. What's happening to my? Wait. What is my? Don't even do it. No. 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 Don't even go. Don't even go. If we break, oh, the whole team dies. Yeah. Let's go. Hear you when you're mining. No one knows we're here. Oh my god. If you get it. Latex, careful. But they def. How does that guy not They're below you. Latex, they're below you. They're below you. Oh my god, Moksha, Moksha. Oh, he sees us. He sees us. Watch out. Get over here. We gotta go. Moksha, get back. Get back. Get More. Oh, nice. Get him off. I keep him. I keep him. Is he dead? No. He's in the trenches. All right, clown, clown. Don't go away right now. Okay, yeah, they know. They know. Yep. Red is like, Blue. bye. Okay, we almost got the green team out, yeah. but they finally- We know us. where it is, we know where it is, we have a tunnel. Unfortunately, we weren't able to mine green's core. We decided not to risk dying and retreated from green's territory to help the rest of our team. At this point, green was now the team with the least players, so we decided to change our focus to the bigger threat. Blue. However, there was one glaring problem. Their water cube made it extremely hard to break their core, and even if someone did get to the center, their players could just hit us away. So we figured the best strategy would be to continue picking off players until we could siege on their core, and so our strike team crossed over to Blue's Nation. Green, so they can do anything. Oh, like oh, oh, no. oh nice. Oh, oh, nice. How nice. did that work? Nice. Knock him out, knock him out. Oh my god. He died too. He died too. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, you didn't cook him. You just fried him. Oh my god. Oh my god. King's down below. King's down below. It's just execution. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Got him, got him, got him. Let's go to their court. Let's break, go, 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 go. Yeah, go to the blue court. Everyone's trying to break. 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 Everyone's Oh, the corner. <laughs> this is water. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna, make, I'm gonna make some doors. I'm gonna make some doors. They, uh, green's all dropping on us right now. At the corner. At the corner. At the corner. Where is this clown, bro? I'm giving you Google search. Looking. How about if you help? But like, there's so many. Be careful. Be careful. Um, be careful. Just slide around. Wait, where are you? No. Oh my God. I'm losing my Yes. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Lichix, where are you? Lichix, Lichix, where? I see Lichix. I see Lichix. Lichix, get in the water. I can. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I cannot. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. I'm out, I'm out, but like, I, I don't know how like I can do this. No! Oh my god. Bro, bro, I killed oh my so god. many people. I don't even say that. Bro. <laughs> wow, there's a lot of TNT on their island. Oh my god. In the glitch. Oh my god. Raspin, Raspin, Raspin. I'm, I'm dead, bro. Raspin. Come on, our team is here. Why can they not shoot that guy? Oh, target breathing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
revive on me? Oh my god. Sharpness is dead. Sharpness is dead. Oh my god. Sharpness is dead. 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 Sharpness our team was getting picked off faster than we could eliminate theirs, and we had no other choice than to retreat. But as we were heading back to our nation, the last thing we were expecting happened. Yeah, wait, 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 don't hit him towards me, don't hit him towards me. He's running, he's running, he's running. Nice, nice. nice. Chase, chase, chase. Nice, nice. I'm chasing, I'm chasing. I'm chasing. Wow. The king is almost dead, the king is almost dead. Yeah, Philip, you should all be- What? 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 Oh, people will die in five Where? seconds anyway, wait. GG. Okay, now it's just- the No! Oh, oh, oh wait, oh, oh. Was there nobody on base anymore? Our fight was over. Although my nation made a strong effort throughout the week, we couldn't survive till the very end. But from starting with the least amount of players today and ending with the most alive, I'd say that's a win for us. But speaking of wins, the next season was a lot more successful as I went to war with every other nation yet again. However, this time everyone had elemental superpowers, and the Fire Nation is where I started my journey on this Minecraft server. Out of the four islands, it had the least resources, and food was immediately hard to come by, and elections were just about to start, so I made my way to our capital. Here we go. Hey ye, hey ye, I'm here to tell you people of the Fire Nation why I would be the best king for you. Nations is a place of winning. I've been granted a special ability. Blue fire. It deals 150% damage compared to normal fire. That's right. I'm also going to drink the water nation into submission because they do not mix. I was the first to get iron. I was the first to get diamonds. The opportunity to stand at the top. You may be thinking about the battle of war, but I will not only win that war, but the battle of resources. The opportunity for world conquering. The battle of food. The battle of life. The opportunity for glory. The battle of land. The battle of morale. Every single battle we will win. We will earn our name as the Fire Nation. The people who came first in season four. And with that, elections were over. Everybody voted, and the winner selected was none other than Suit. Now, we can only hope that he leads us to victory. Also, while waiting for elections, I got acquainted with my bending abilities, which I had a feeling I would need to master eventually. But, at this point, the Fire Nation lived peacefully with all the other nations. Well... All except for one, where an infamous player had other plans. An Air Nation member named Clown Pierce did not want to go along with world peace, and instead wished for world domination and that every nation including his own bowed down to him. And it didn't help that he was just elected leader for the Air Nation. This would make stopping him much harder because of the extra health the Crown would give him. But I knew if I wanted to defend the world peace we had, then I would need to fight him. So I grouped up with the Fire Nation's elite members and got ready for our first expedition off the island. We all realized that taking on Clown Pierce by ourselves would be risky because of how experienced he is in combat, so we contacted the other nation leaders to join us on our journey. And since they too saw how destructive Clown was becoming, they agreed to come with us, so we headed to the Water Nation capital to meet up. I'm kind of coming to War Nation. And as we were marching there, we heard talk that Clown was suspected to be hiding somewhere on the island. But after some looking around, it seemed like we'd never find him with how big the island was. But then, wait. I see him! I see him! He's underground! We were able to locate Clown and immediately sent a group of us to chase him through his mining tunnels. Oh, New fire. <laughs> I'm digging down. I'm trying to kill I'm here. I'm here. Alright, I'm with these gonkers. Alright. Try to get him trapped in yep. a little space and we use some abilities on him. Okay. He's gotta be low, right? Okay, I gotta. Okay. He's going down. He's going down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling them not to come down. Okay, he's stuck. He's stuck. Use everything on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm, I've gone down, oh. don't follow me. I'm a heal for a second. Alright. Okay, Get him, Gorkas. Go, 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 go. Okay, he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. Okay, Chase him. Guy. Keep running. I can see him, he's, he's getting out of the tunnel right now. Sure. Yeah, he's going up the game. Yeah, he's, he's trying to run away, but we have a bunch of people on top, so there's no way he escapes. Uh, he's digging up right Oh, you right guys are here? He's here. Yeah, oh, so he's, he's right here. He's right there. He's literally right there. He's right there. He's right there. The ambush. Oh my god, the ambush. Despite having people surrounding him, and with all odds in our favor, Clown Pierce managed to escape, and our teammates on the surface couldn't catch him either since his airbending abilities gave him lots of mobility. And as a result, we made our mark on the island and burned everything down. But this wouldn't be the last time we encounter him.
However, for now, we needed to group with even more people, and so, Fire Nation decided to travel to the Water Nation capital to group with more water members. But as we were moving, a teammate and I encountered a rogue Earth Nation member, and he was hostile, so we had to fight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're destroying now. He's using that weird uh, guys, dirt ability. Okay, just, just spam all your abilities on. I'll put my wall up. Okay, okay. Turn on one sword. He's almost ready. Yeah, yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. He's gotta be low right now. Okay, I'm just gonna get away. Okay, yeah, worth yeah. it. I'm gonna die if I keep this going. Uh, go on to Swari, go on to Swari. Uh, no, it's fine. I'm, I'm gonna get away. I have a dolphin. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm out of here, bro. He did the thing again. Oh, he, he has uh, armor or something. Nah, I'm, I'm in it. Uh, okay, okay. I don't have food left, man. Yeah, we're kinda low on food. Press the we leave. Oh, shit. I think so. We briefly fought, but eventually decided this player was only draining our resources. So, we kept moving to the capital and regrouped with the team. At this point, there were also rumors that Clown Pierce had been assembling his army near the Water Nation's capital, consisting of members from every nation, including our own. So now we really had to get over there. If we let them get too strong, there was a good chance that there would be a world war. So, we kept traveling. But just as we got to the capital, somehow my team found him. Is this a clown? Huh? huh? F3A, F3A, where I'm looking. Where, where, where are, are you? Oh looking? shit, yeah, I see him, I see him. He's underground, he's Wait. like very deep underground. We just so happened to find Clown yet again decided that a few of us would go underground to fight him in his tunnels, while the rest of us would track him from the surface. And those people have TNT minecarts that they can drop on his head if he decides to dig up. This would ensure that he would not be able to escape this time. And so, I started my descent. But really quickly, if you're enjoying the video, I just want to ask that you subscribe. Because I've actually made a bet with my friend AJ the Bold that if I can hit 175,000 subscribers before VidCon, which is in like two weeks, then he'll jump into the ocean. So if you want to see a video of that on my Twitter, then make sure to subscribe. I think it'd be pretty funny. Anyways, we hopped in a PC with the rest of the nation leaders and discuss our plan in killing Clown Pierce. This is a guy who's played bloody lifesteal. The five main people I want on him at all times are gonna be me, Luna, Rasplin, Suit, and Jackie. Okay, he's he's right all underneath right, us. He's right under. All right, Gonkus, Rasplin. Yeah. Imagine he FVAs and just sees all of us. Okay, so we need to make a strategy here. Okay, go on to the go down, yeah. Uh, he's going, uh, south. Go, yeah, go, go Wait, south. Follow him south. south. He has a crown. He has Are you sure? He has a crown. Oh, he does? Does he? Yeah, he oh, pop crown. off. Yeah, better. Good! Rustin, don't come down! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Oh, Eric, I'm- Eric, oh. Come Eric, 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 run. Yeah. He's running back to you guys. He's running back to you guys. There's someone! He's, there's going, someone. Back He's going directly back to you guys. Crouch, crouch! Uh, Preston, this, this is a tunnel. This is a tunnel. Oh, crown! Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Guys, I'm digging down. Okay, okay fine. Okay. So if you can go down, but no one else go no, down now. I'm making this dirt I'm making this dirt this. Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough. I lost oh. him. low. I can't see him for the whole oh, month. He's escaping, he's escaping. I'd strongly advise only fire people go down because. Don't, 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 don't one on one. Don't one on one. Don't worry, we're both. Uh, Raspin, if you can, oh, mine yeah, the bottom right. block, I'll mine the top block. Uh, okay, Raspin, you, you mine, I'm gonna keep using our fire burst ability on him, okay? Alright. He turned, he turned, he turned. Go, 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 go. Alright, uh, stay behind the bait, Raspin, stay behind the bait. Okay. Okay. You guys are doing it, you guys are doing this. Oh. Keep it up, keep it up. You got it, you got it. Yeah, someone back up, someone continuously back up. Just some back he's back right up. here. At some point, he's gonna have to come up. Oh, gonna gonna have have you have combustion? Come you have combustion? No, I don't have combustion, I don't. Okay, uh... Oh, yeah, Right here, right here. Nice, nice, nice. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. I'm getting ready. I'm putting him alive, I'm putting him alive. Me, Jack, 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 me, don't get too excited. Who won? If you keep them still working, I'm gonna climb. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm on my way. No, okay. I, I, I don't mind. That's okay. That photon focus Luna. Height, pull back. Nice. Jesus. God, this is good. GG's. Clown Pierce was defeated. We redeemed ourselves from his first escape, and our main task was now complete. So you may think this is where the video ends. However, if you remember from earlier, I mentioned how Clown's army was assembling, and they were not happy about his death now. So although this was a huge goal of ours eliminated, 
we had an even bigger problem just around the corner. See, Clown's army had just declared that they were coming to fight us. Luckily, my team was already grouped up, so we went over into the battlefield to scope out for the enemies. But when we got there, nothing could have prepared us for what was about to happen next. Bro, we're not we're not going up there, bro. That is a death wish. The other nation leaders decided it was time to split ways and betrayed, joining the other side, leaving only us, the Fire Nation, to fight everybody else. Not only this, but they also had twice the amount of players as us and with a wider variety of elements. We all felt a little nervous, but we weren't just going to back out of the fight so fast. After everything built up to this moment, this was finally our chance to prove to the world that the Fire Nation was on top. So, finally, World War commenced. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Try to shoot me. Oh, oh, stop paying me. What the fuck? Okay. I'm not gonna hold that. I'm not gonna hold that. I'm going in. My bad. Oh, that's me. Oh, that's me. Oh, they got to learn it on me. So many people. <laughs> Man, I'm blind. What the fuck? Yeah, rest the Is Smith on our team? I tell you, he's on our team. Kill back hole. Kill back hole. Yeah. I'm getting focused. Oh, oh wait, kill the sci-fi guy. Sci-fi, sci-fi. He's been annoying me. Oh, got him, got him. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Wait, I'm getting focused. Oh. Alright, Jenny's betraying us, by the way. Jenny's betraying us, by the way. Yeah, kill Jenny. Yeah, kill Jenny. Yeah, kill Jenny. Okay. Yeah, kill Jenny. Okay. Oh, I kicked him back. Yeah, Jenny is next. Oh, I'm done. Nice. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. They should have my bad, my bad. I'm doing shabby. I'm fucking with you. Alright, I'll just go. Let's go. Okay. Alright, I'm running away, they're running away, they're running away. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, I'll just 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 go. Alright, I'll Oh, Jackie! Oh, Jackie! Oh, it's on Tulan, it's on Tulan. After say it's on Tulan, I can't even. Oh my god. Uh, I'll definitely and Jackie are to the right. I'll definitely to the right. Oh, Jackie! Wait, Jackie! I tried to give him a chance so many times. I think he's blowing me up now. Yeah, you should have given him a chance. To the right? No! Oh, oh, what the? What the? It's actually a question. Put the down to the plants. They're just staying at the water. Oh, hey, Get yes. Yes. Nice. Oh, okay. we, we literally gave him like half the island. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, there we go. We won. Despite having every other nation against us, the Fire Nation claimed our spot as the Rulers of Nations Season 5. And at this point, there's only one more season story to tell. But this time around was different because unlike past seasons, everyone was put onto one island and it was up to us to form our own teams. And as I began playing, I found a faction called Chufenheim. Luckily for me, they accepted me as a member. But soon after this, we encountered some trouble. This is important. I see a mandem person outside the walls, I think. Wait, who? Oh. who? Where, 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 where? Uh, who is it? Yeah, facing west it's, side. That's it's their it's location. Top of the B house. Probably. Let's see. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, no, no. Stop him, Don. Don. Let's go. Oh, never mind. Oh, We're good. Hold this boating away. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get in. I'm going to cross the boat. I'm going to cross the boat. I'm going to cross the boat. Is that an enemy or something? Oh, TNT, TNT. I, I, I broke it. I broke it. Come out, come out. He's really low. My dog's right, right, Where is he? Oh, he's there. He's there. Yes. Nice. Oh, I, I can come off. One moment. The lag. Wait, actually. Oh. What the heck? Oh. I just killed a bandit from a powerful group called Mandem. See, it turns out this group had been spying on us in order to prepare for an attack to get more resources for themselves. We were lucky I was able to eliminate this one person before they could find out much more info. And so, our nation's leader, Chuf Chuf, called a meeting to discuss what our next plans would be as a result of this. Wait. Guys, guys, everyone gather up, gather up. If you see anyone, I don't care who it is, staying with either Erku or Emerald, you notify us and it's a kill on sight. 
Shuf wanted war, and so the people of Shufenheim began preparing trenches for guerrilla warfare. However, Shuf gave me a different task. You see, in order to gain more information on the team we were going to fight, he sent Poland and I to meet with the leaders of an allied team of Mandem, the Hobbits, led by Dolly and Zombie Dwarf. And I want you guys to stop like, trying to murder me whenever you see me. Well, and you were I don't, kind of I don't, hitting us and stuff. I don't know who has been telling you information, but I, I don't think anyone I know has hit a member of yours in days. Maybe even weeks. Weeks. <laughs> <laughs> weeks? I don't know about that. Years, dude. Years. What I want is, I don't want people to try to murder me the second they see me just chilling around, you know what I mean? I mean, That's you can kill some of those dogs. If all of those dogs are gone, sure. Uh, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't know if you want to do that. But... <laughs> Poland wasn't having any success in this meeting, so he decided to take more drastic measures. He asked me for an ender pearl, and I had four, so I dropped him one without knowing his next move. And well, let's just say... He failed horribly. Hey, do you guys want to see a magic trick though? Yeah, I will blow good. myself into the sky with this one simple trick. You guys want to oh. see it? Yeah. Um, yeah. So first I do this, then I do that, and then you do this. Oh, oh, oh I Good think job. the plan failed. Uh, hey, yo, chill, chill, chill! What, what are you doing, bro? Hey, yo, hey, yo, chill! It was a joke! Leave me alone, it was a joke, it was a joke! I'm sorry, it was a joke, it was a joke. Okay, that's oh. toxic. That is so toxic. Poland died. And since he couldn't finish the mission afterward, I asked Dolly to VC afterward instead. Yeah, What's up? Hey, sorry about my teammate's little trick thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as he went for zombie, I was like, okay, well, this fool's gonna die now. <laughs> so, the real reason I wanted to call you is because I need help fighting against Mandom. Yeah, I understand. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how hungry my people are for violence, that's the thing. I mean, how would you go about killing them? I don't think the dog trick is gonna work on that many people. Dolly didn't want to lead the hobbits into war, and so he declined my offer to team up and fight Mando. It was unfortunate that we couldn't get this team on our side because they had some of the strongest fighters in this entire event. But just when I thought our team was looking at a loss, Shuv called me for help because he just captured a hostage from none other than Mando. No, no, you don't kill her. No, 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 no. Charm? Yeah. Listen. Listen, listen. No, I know, I know. Okay, if, if charm, charm, charm. Listen, listen, listen. Don't worry, don't worry. Just listen. There are some problems with Mandem right now. Yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I was just in a call with a bunch of other people about the council. Yeah. I want you to drop your armor, please. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Please, trust me. Please. Okay. I don't want you to die. No one, if anyone kills Charm, is dead. Okay, Charm. I'm sorry, but you're now hostage. <laughs> Okay. Oh, god damn. <laughs> you tell your people in VC or whatever that you're now hostage for. If you run, you die. If you try to run, you die. If you tell anyone to come help you, you die. We can, we can gonna, dig you a hole. Go yeah. hole. This was just what we needed. Now that our team had something of Mandem's, we could get them to come to our base to work out a deal. And so, Shuf declared that the leader of Mandem came to discuss things. But you see, what their leader didn't know is that we would be ready to eliminate them on Shuf's command. If we could assassinate Mandem's leader, their nation would be easier to pick off. And so with our new plan in mind, everyone got ready for the leader's arrival. Uh, you can follow me. Walk down here. Bro, I don't like when the dogs are growling, bro. I'm gonna just jump straight to what's happening. Mandem, right now, is our biggest enemy. I have two solutions. One of them, involves you dying, one of them involves no one dying. My offer is simple. I want you to let go of the crown and give it to my man here, Alex. He'll be taking over Mandem. And... I got out. I'm gonna tell you something. Mandem is dead. Mandem's leader escaped. A member of his team pulled an enderpearl stasis and he instantly teleported away. This meant war. And so without much hesitation, Schufenheim sent an all-out attack to Mandem's base to end them. Alright, I am at Mandem's base right now. Uh, <laughs> they see me. Okay, it's go time, Raspin. Go, go, go. Oh, wait, shit, I don't wanna go. Okay, well, Shuf, I'm just letting wait, you know, okay. like, I just kind of... Yo! Yes. Oh, shit, there's everyone here! I, I, that guy's low. Yes, yes. Everybody is here. Oh my god. I think there's an attack. Okay, bring spell, bring spell. Yes. Wait, what? What's the chords? Yes. Uh, right. Mandem got blown up by uh, some guys now. Two people. Wait, who trapped them? Inside oh, their base? We did. We did. Uh, yeah. Ricardo trapped Should we just kill Ricardo yes. before? He's dead. dead. There's another one. Oh, yeah. Him. The guy called Ricardo. <laughs> Don't kill him. He's on your team. He's just... Yeah. He's dead. He's dead. Okay, I'm letting my crossbows. You take that guy. First. Wait, right. If, if they, if they get... I don't know. Do I get the crown? No. Ah. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, what's, what's the chord? 2v1? I'm not! I'm at the base! 
I know, it's good that Rust but it's fine. It's we, funny. we were following uh, up they, they they Where's the best? Just, just, just <laughs> Let's go! Can, 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 do I have your permission? Yes. Can I, like, yes, I guess. Minus 1,000 plus 5,200. I got one, I got one. Guys, guys, there's more people. We need help. Where are you? We're gonna come to help you. Mandem. They got 1,000 plus 200. Just as things were looking bad for Squid and I, the last person I expected to show up appeared at the perfect time. Dolly actually decided to take up my offer for war. With his help, Mandem was done for. Oh, Dolly's right there. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. <laughs> what the? How did you get there? I'm just messing around. Are you ready? Alex, are you ready? I'm just gonna watch them. This yeah, there's fun. a lot of people here, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's an entire team here. Uh, Big if it could just shit, bro. No idea. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did we lose Rev? Hurt them, hurt the bad for Rev. Wait, do we lose Rev? That's so many dogs. <laughs> so many dogs. There's a lead, there's a lead, he has 20 health. Be careful to not get your reputation to down squid, yours is going yeah. orange. We did. That was, that was funny. Yeah. Oh. Squid so challenge you go war. war. Oh, this is so funny. This guy is so dumb! Go on, Rasplit, go on! Yeah. Go on! Yeah! yeah. Like, Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Okay, MC okay. moment! You see, all this time while we were fighting Mandem, on the other side of the map, there was an even more dangerous powerhouse growing among us. Two nations called TMS and INS formed as one to become the largest faction on the server. And the worst part is, they wanted us dead, because we were the only other group that rivaled the team size. And that's because after Dolly helped Squid and I, the hobbits officially formed together with Chuf and I. So Chuf and Dolly decided to lead our teams to the enemy base for a raid, and so we all made our way across the island to fight for our lives. By the way, I want to quickly mention that I'm actually sub-racing the host of this event, JJK, to 100k, so make sure to hit the subscribe button right now to become an OG channel member. Anyways, back to the action. This is uh, just so lame. TMS leader, oh my fucking god. Okay, go. Uh, regroup on land, regroup on land, everyone can see the Rest one, just, just try to get back. Guys, there's two of them on me. I'm gonna need some help. Ah, backup arrived. Two? Hey, I'm just getting three arrows. Help. Everyone in the water. This is Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. I don't know how to vote, by the way. Get him. Get him. He's stuck. He's stuck. Get him. Why are we like. Yeah! Oh, nice. Yeah! Dude, Carl the Beast cracked. Yeah! I'm crazy. I'm crazy. There's three of us here. Get him out. Yes! Coming back. There's no one. Nice, nice, nice. Everybody come to the tower. We're all going up right now. Guys, guys, go up, everyone up, everyone up, everyone up. Oh, no. No. Oh, wait, wait, so let me down, so let me down. I think I'm, I'm still part of Shufa. Oh, shoot. Someone from my NS is down there. Someone from my NS is down there. Walk up the, the way up. Oh, I'm up top, I'm up top. Um, Alright, where's. Bro. Guys, there's too many people here. Yeah, they're, they're, they're jumping. Guys, right, so there's three of them on me. Oh, okay, I'm falling. I'm all the way back down. I'm killing you. You die, you are so cringe. Got this, got this, shoot. Oh, so Rasplin back up, let's go. Rasplin, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Right, no, 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 dude, 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 we, we, we run, we run, we run. Alex, Alex, go, 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 we killed Ibon. No, 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 no. Rasplin, me and you and uh, Alex. Where? Where? Oh. The, the guy's shooting us. Go, go, go. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I don't have a boat. This is so scuffed. Why did they decide to make this in the ocean? <laughs> yeah, I'm here, man. Because it's good for There's someone stuck on my boat. It, I, swear. I had to fight Eric in the water. Oh. I got killed so fast. No, this, this guy right here. This guy's dead. Trap him, trap him. I don't know. I don't have a boat, by the way. This sucks. After about half an hour of fighting, TMS and INS fled the scene, and my team gained some time to recover. As we celebrated this temporary win, we remembered that the battle wasn't over, and continued to prepare for the final war day. Everyone who I've known since the beginning of the event was about to come together one more time to fight for their lives. Newfound allies from the Hobbits were gonna fight alongside us despite our previous differences. The stage was set, and before anyone knew it, the final day of nations had begun. This is ending now. It all ends now with us. We either kill all of them or they kill all of us. Wrestling, Squid, Alex, BS Games, everyone, I'm counting on you. Guys, this has been quite a journey. It's coming to an end right now. Yep. Maybe this could have been avoided, but sadly this is how it's all going to go. DOH and CHF against TMS and INS.
into yeah, it. Yeah, let's go. Knock him into it, knock him into it. Yeah, I'm gonna go in. Assault, assault. Brains are perfect. They, they feel very outnumbered. Yeah. This person is just spot tripping. <laughs> oh, that's... Bro, that's this, this person is just spot tripping. Yeah, this person is just spot tripping. This dude is just running. Wow. Ooh. Huh? Dang, they didn't I even swear. see in the arena. Made a huge arena and they just ran away. Oh? Okay, okay. oh. The Jevil died. Okay, it's okay. died. Oh, oh. Jevil L. I'm being targeted by the leader. Oh, I'm getting like... Ooh! Ooh. He is game fucking up, oh my god. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. game Blink! One thing Brain didn't want, this guy just to blame me. Wait, uh, guys, don't don't go too far. Wait, this guy went this all is the way far out. Yes! Is this really? I'm going to fucking do! I'm going to fucking do! I'm just going to go. Yeah. I got another one! No. <laughs> uh, be, be, be careful, man. Wait, you know what would be funny? What? Someone jumped. Oh, it's, it's, it's fleeing. Oh, oh. Their king is fleeing. They're fleeing. Oh, he's going God. towards the, the flag of your king. Here, you say yeah. about ending it all. You're fleeing, bro. Rest uh, behind you. The line, the line. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh, that's a hole. Okay, okay, okay. okay let's you see. Let's let's you made that trench. Let's see you, bitch. Let's let's you. Nice. nice. If you yeah. die, you are officially great back. Uh, he will yeah. die, he will yeah. die. The yeah. diamond train yeah. PvP all his life. <laughs> oh my god, a whole army's yeah. here, oh my god. There's gaps. Oh wait, yeah, Squid, you can now uh, kill more people. Yo, it's false hacker. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna do it anyway. Wait, <laughs> wait is, is he yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Is that an iron just Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like we've kind of won. Yeah, like already. Yeah, that's all good. Wait, watch out, watch out, team, team. It's all good, man. It's all good. Oh, where? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Avoid this crag. Oh, we need to repay. Let's go. Yeah, I've just been chasing them the entire time. That was probably nice. Oh, this guy is probably low. I'm out of blocks. I've been filming Lumoni this entire time with all of Me you. Me too, he's getting chased by everyone. I swear. This reminds me oh, of uh, Luffy in season 1. Oh my god, <laughs> season 1. Oh my god. Yeah. Yo! Let's go! 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 Jufenheim and the Hobbits finished off the server together as the masters of nations. Even though we started off on different sides, we found a way to ally together in peace and defeat our real enemies in the end. The war is over, and don't be afraid. The good guys prevail today. Raslin, put the mic card away. <laughs> don't you dare. Thank you for participating, thank you for being here, and I wish you all a good night. And with that, we had ended nations off on top. If you're still watching at this point, thank you. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe.